Hello everyone, welcome back to the Beyond Bed channel. Um, if you're stopping by for the first time, you are absolutely welcome. We are so excited that you've decided to click on that, you know, on this video. Uh, my name is Debbie and I am a partner in your film about family, faith, lifestyle and relationships. And um, again, this is our channel. Um, in today's video, I will just briefly touch on, you know, handling um, social media and you know some of the negativity and the pressures you know of social media how to handle them um, and then I will also be sharing my story on how I was able to overcome this aspect of my life um, if you're liking this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll be right back So social media is um, is a wonderful tool. Um, I mean, social media has been a tool of enlightenment, of education. Um, we've you know become more aware of things that are happening around the world and even in our surrounding. Social media has become our eyes, basically. I mean. For some of us that have not really traveled around the world or even traveled out of our you know hometown um social media has helped us to see you know every part of the world and what is happening it has been informative um we get information on social media it has even been um you know a tool for business uh, for you know business owners um basically there's so much that social media has offered you know in this generation with the help of technology it has been it has been amazing basically um but on the flip side social media is is becoming this um rapidly consuming tool of destruction and okay maybe destruction is a really strong word but it has become a tool that um tool of emotional instability, tool of depression, tool of suicidal thoughts. I mean, when we look at social media, um, a lot of things are happening. And because of social media, people are becoming emotional and unstable. People are becoming depressed. People are becoming, you know, angry at themselves. People are, you know, even becoming, they are fed with lies. Social media basically is causing people to act irrationally people are not even um having confidence in themselves it's, it's making people um feel really low about themselves um psychologically is damaging i don't know like a whole lot is happening because of social media and i will be sharing my story on how um um well i mean i, I not that social media did a whole lot of damage to me, but um, I was getting there and I had to, you know, call myself to order. And I'm going to be sharing some of the things that really helped me. In, um, I remember in 2018, or prior to 2018, because 2018 was when I, you know, took this step to, you know, change and to handle, you know, social media. Um, so prior to 2018, you know, I had a lot of pages that I followed. I know some of these pages. I, I won't be mentioning anyone in particular. And this is not to point out to say one page is this, but you need to be really truthful with yourself and look inward. Is this page I'm following? Is it productive? Like, is it bringing, what, what is it even teaching me? What am I getting? What information am I taking in from this page that I'm following or from this thing I'm seeing on social media? Now, right from okay i think i'll go back to even before i got into university um i was on all social media sites name it i was on nimbus like i know some of you are young you don't even know what nimbus is um i know some of you know to go i was on um ah i can't even remember some of them again i was on um Flix, flickstar myspace um ah i can't remember some of them um, like this really old one before Facebook even came like old ones um, I can't remember like a whole lot of them but like I was there Twitter like if you go to my Twitter page I had over 14,000 tweets and this was I stopped tweeting since 20 2011 or so like but before then I had 14,000 tweets like to show you that I was on Twitter like there were people I met 
via Twitter. This is not saying Twitter is bad, but like my point was that I was really, really a social media person. I was so active on social media. You would see me following this page, following this, following that. Um, but the point was, um, I, I had to realize that some of these pages were not, some of these social media pages were not being productive. And when I really rededicated my life in 20, um, Ten, I have to do with some of these pages, and this is not saying that you should leave social media. I'm not saying leave social media, but I mean the Bible has said if a part of your body is not being productive or is causing you to sin, then cut it off. Um, so I'm leaving that to you. This is not me saying leave social media, but sometimes that's not even the solution. It's discipline yourself that is social because if every part of your body is causing you to sin. Like you kill yourself, <laughs> you have to cut off every So sometimes so that's where self control and discipline comes in. But so fast forward to before 2018, um, I had this, I had, I had a series of pages I was following, and the outlook on these pages they were towards like relationships and marriages, um, and I would always get these negative vibes, like someone would say, dear so so so, my husband cheated on me, my this did this, and then when we just come, men are scum, this and that, blah blah blah. And gradually, like when you follow like three pages like that, where everyone comes to air, like their opinions, they are, you know, letting out the bitterness in them, and everybody just come and say, oh, because of this, I won't do that. You know, sometimes some of these things that you it's like food like before you know you start feeding it you start you are feeding on these things and before you know it's germinating it's like it's like a seed um remember the parable of the sower in the bible you know it's it's these things are like seeds that are germinating that are germinating that are germinating um in as much as the word of god is a good seed right sometimes some of these negative things are bad seeds and they can choke up the word of god that is inside you now Going back to my story, um, I realized that I started having like this negative outlook on marriages, on relationship, in fact, and then I was just, I just got out of a bad relationship and I was like, I'm not, in fact, I'm not getting married, I'm not interested in any Nigerian men anymore, that all Nigerian men, they are useless, like I let it hard, <laughs> thank God for God's mercy, guide, <laughs> guys, like, thank God for his mercy, you know, I was like, not interested anymore like I, I literally you know and permit me to say some of these things are why some of this some women are bitter you know when it comes to marriage issues relationship issues because you fed on so much things like so how was i able to help myself um first and first what happened i and a friend were discussing um and her sister so we're three were discussing the room and we're talking about this particular page um it's very popular i know some of you know it but i'm not going to mention like they usually say dear this <laughs> um and then we're just talking about how there's so much negativity on like you hardly hear any good thing about oh i and my husband were enjoying our marriage or this or that it's always oh dear this mm, my man did this my woman did this like it's always and that they we're just talking about how why is it always negativity and and then we looked at ourselves we looked at the house the homes were coming from my parents have a good marriage their parents had good marriage like our parents basically had good marriages and we we're wondering like why are we even looking outside when we have good godly examples in our home you know and um i don't know somehow i just decided that you know what i'm going to actually stop following this speech and to god be the glory i've not gone back <laughs> to follow that page honestly that was that's like close to more than three years now maybe going to four years um which is great you know um and then i also extended that that to us to every other page that you know there are a lot of popular pages out there like I'm not going to mention names again, you know. I will follow pages that edifies me, edifies my spirit, edifies my soul. If I'm to follow pages that has to do with food, I follow pages that they are strictly on food. They show me the good side of food. When I'm following pages for news, like 
I follow pages for strictly news when I'm following pages of relationship I follow pages that they are displaying like godly relationships now this is to say we don't know what everyone is doing in their cupboard in their cupboard right but the point is like people that I know that like like the, my spirit aligns with and my values aligns with theirs like i follow like i don't just follow random people and guys that's one of the things if you are dealing with you know this social media is weighing you down or you're feeling less of yourself because of everything that is happening on social media why not unfollow those pages that makes you feel less of yourself like it's not compulsory to follow if it's hard place a block on them so that you don't feel like you don't have that um you don't feel the need to go and you know follow the person again like that's what i do like right now i can say uh, the other day I and my other friend were talking about how this particular page like she told me how she even had to unfollow the page herself like like that's great like if this page is making you feel it a certain type of way please unfollow that page for your sanity like unfollow because the streets of social media is not and i know i've heard so much on twitter like how twitter is salvage there and everything like if you don't have to be on twitter please don't be on twitter like for your own sanity like it's not compulsion the other thing is discipline um just like i said before um you need to actually put self-control it's not enough sometimes like i said before sometimes leaving some of these things is not an option because you probably are using for some people that you know they use like for me now with my use about everything i can't just say oh i'm leaving instagram or i'm leaving twitter because i'm using it for something else i'm using it to publicize my channel like a lot of people are using instagram for business using twitter for business facebook for, like a lot of all, all of these social media sites basically um so so like at this point i can even say it's not even smart if you're a business person um not to have a social media account right um so and that's where discipline comes in because you can't cut off like i said before you can't cut off all of your body just because it's making, making it the same it's a place for self-control that's why self-control is a fruit of, fruit of the spirit like you have to put yourself subdue yourself subdue your body subdue subdue the flesh um and how do you do that discipline like me sometimes especially when i post um videos and i and then i get like notifications on my channel like someone commented someone likes someone did this someone subscribed they send me some of this notification and i'm like oh my god let me say who commented who did this and before you know it you spent like 10 minutes 20 minutes you're already like you know before you even said your prayers before you even done your devotion or before you've done that same things like so those are some of the ways in which you can actually discipline yourself and then when it comes to like again some of the things that makes you um depressed or have this um a feeling of um um disdain against yourself just because of what you say on social media um again unfollow pages that you know doesn't add value to your life or doesn't you know make you feel good about yourself unfollow this page any page that is not giving bringing impacts transforming your life positively unfollow those pages so i'm going to leave us with these things um to conclude this video um remember that the bible says that evil company or evil communication corrupts good manners um and the bible also says in philippians 4 9 that uh, whatever things are true noble pure of good reports um yeah if there's any other thing like we should meditate on these things mm. so once we always guard whatever comes in into our hearts remember guard your hearts with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life whatever you bring in relax in computer class are garbage in and garbage out so whatever you put in um it's going to show it's going to come out it's going to you know exude um within you like it's going to show on your face so so what you take in is what you are it's what it's what you're going to be you know, so you have to be really really careful social media the streets of social media now are really really dangerous for those of you that have kids and children you have to be really really careful and you need to educate them what social media is let's be really careful God bless. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Just click the like button also and can comment and share with your friends if you love this video. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.